Kim Savage here reporting for Newstalk ZB here on the red carpet at the world premiere of The Hobbit and Unexpected Journey. Let's have a chat to some of the stars, shall we? It's, I think all of us would say that it's an overwhelming, humbling experience being here. This, this turnout, the way that New Zealand has embraced us and made us feel so welcome when we were working here, and this, it's, it doesn't get better than this, really. The film, what, what did you think of it? Oh, listen, when you see it, you'll be blown away. I, I was, I, I'm in it, and I found it extraordinary. You, you sit back and your jaw hangs open for, for, for the whole time. It's, it's amazing. Tell me about the relationships and friendships you've formed while you've been, while you've been here. <laughs> oh, listen, they're like an extended family, an extended dysfunctional family. There's, there's you know, we, we bonded by uh, basically taking the piss out of each other, for want of a better word. We did. We, we, we got to know each other in ways that you probably only know members of your closest family. <laughs> in the good and bad ways. When I was in the country and I worked here, it felt just amazing to be part of this country. And it's just, so I love it. And, you know, I'm very happy. No, Wellington is a fantastic place. Good people, good heart, good wine, good food. And, uh, you know, my daughters loved it, I loved it. And I also got to make a movie with Peter Jackson. I mean, that's the thing. When I think about Wellington, this is the first time I've really articulated this. I think about my life here, and then of course I go, oh God, but yeah, I worked here as well, I did a movie. You know, so I mean, I'll come back here forever. This is a great place. Oh, he's an important man. He's an important man. He's got decency, vision, compelling, integrity. No, he's important. He's a proud Kiwi. What do you think of all this fantastic atmosphere we've got? I'm loving it. It's amazing, yeah. It's just, um, it's unexpected, you know? Um, just the atmosphere, the people, the celebration, smiley faces up and down the carpet, it's great, yeah. And, and uh, did you come along to the, the Lord of the Rings premieres as well, and how does this compare? Yeah, you know, I wouldn't like to say it's better yet, but the Return of the King premiere was insane, and I've never seen anything like it in my life. So I was a little bit pre-warned about it because I knew how big Wellington goes, so I knew it would be huge. But yeah, this is amazing. Yeah. How I guess uh, is this for you on a sort of a personal level? Obviously, the family ma massive family connection. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, how is it to sort of experience all of this? And it's just so epic and grand, isn't it? It really is, and um, it just fills me with a great pride. Yeah, it's 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 quite strange actually that everyone's here, really because of originally because of Tolkien and what he did. So it's amazing. Yeah, it's great. As an actor now, and of course as a second unit director, you've worked very closely with Peter Jackson. What would you say about the man? He is uh, one of the world's greatest empathetic, compassionate uh, filmmakers who totally understands storytelling and and shares storytelling with uh, you know with, with with everyone who's here today. He's, he's just the most incredibly generous, spirited man, and that filters down on, on set in, in his everyday actions. I mean, he's. He's a phenomenal human being. I mean, I thought I was coming back to reprise the role of Gollum, and then a very, very sort of close to production, Peter asked me to come down and be here for a year and a half and shoot for 200 days on the second unit, and so I had a wonderful experience to act in the second unit. He got me to do a nude scene in this film. I've never taken my clothes off for another, another director, and I'm, I'm not very proud of my body, and you'll see why. I would like to tell them, haven't they got something better to do? But they're here to see you. Why aren't they at work? The whole economy is going to grind to a halt. Mind you, Peter Jackson has been keeping the New Zealand dollar nice and strong, hasn't he? He's a great man. You have a genius in your midst. And it was wonderful to be in the film, and it's a huge compliment that such a lot of very nice people have turned out today. And uh, it makes it's rather moving, as a matter of fact. Oh, it's marvellous, isn't it? Um, yeah, good weather. Huge crowds, um, people anticipating you know, the movie. Yeah, really a good day. Looking forward to seeing the film? I am, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm rereading it, The Hobbit. So I'm wondering where, it, um, you know, where it's going to finish in this one. I think I'm past you know, where, the, uh, where this film will stop. Yeah. Fantastic. And have you always been a Hobbit, Lord of the Rings fan? Uh, absolutely, yep. Always been a, uh, a ringy fan, yep. And uh, just uh, today, I guess, and we've got all these people coming in from overseas. Obviously, yeah. great for New Zealand, isn't absolutely. it? Oh, absolutely. And and good that you know Wellington's throwing on a really good party atmosphere. I think um, 
great to see you know the technology that's being used to make the film and really you know anticipating the movie as well. Oh, this is the closest thing I've got to a set I've never really spent anywhere away from London in England as long as I've spent in England. So you know this is it's as close as I've got to a set A comical fate coming from you. Are you <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's turned out and made it lovely. Everyone's very well behaved actually. And there's, the, and there's the odd idiot who's attempted to dress up as someone from the movie. <laughs> yeah, there is, yeah. Mind you, you're giving me a run for my money there. That's not bad at all. Yeah. That's good, that's, that's good. That's very kind of you. Yeah. Oh, really exciting. I mean, what a, what a great atmosphere. Wellington's really turned it on. Beautiful weather, really excited crowd. People dressed up. Great, great day. And, and what, is, what does a day like this and, I guess, an event like this do for New Zealand, do you think? Oh, look, I think it's just New Zealand turning it on. And... Uh, it just makes you proud to be a Kiwi, really. The ingenuity, the creativity, but also the scenery, it all kind of comes together in one movie. So hats off to Peter Jackson, what he's been able to do here. You're a Hobbit fan? Uh, I, I read The Hobbit a few years ago, so I can't quite remember how it all sort of works out. So I'm, I'm quite looking forward to the movie. That's crazy. It is, you know, I think Wellington is now officially the coolest capital in the world. I think it's official. It, you know, the film it hits the ground running and it doesn't stop. Um, it starts with the brilliant Sir Ian Holm as Bilbo Baggins, which always gets me because, you know, he was our original. Um, and then Martin Freeman takes over from there, and I think he's just brilliant. I think he's brilliant. It was it was really hard, um, and but filming went brilliantly, and that was a good thing. So you know, once we actually started making it and doing what we know how to do, uh, it actually went really well. So it was great, and we had huge support from New Zealand. You know, I know there were problems and and, and issues along the way, but but honestly, the support and the love that you get from just everyday people, ordinary people, has been amazing. And one film almost done, I guess you could say, and two to go. Still lots of work to be done? Yes, there is. It's, yes, there is. Actually, Pete was hassling me just before. He was saying, you know, we're going to have to get on to this. Not too much partying. So, yeah. Back to the old grindstone, I suppose. But, yeah. Uh, good to be back in your second home. It's wonderful. It always is. And, you know, walking down this red carpet in Courtney Place, I never quite thought I would do this again. Um, it's, it's very wild. I have, like, echoes of the past. This is, there's nothing typical about this. No. I mean, it, listen, the, the movie belongs to New Zealand, and it belongs to Wellington, and it was made here. It can only be like this here. Uh, it's extremely special, and, and it's really remarkable to look out and see how many people turn up. And they feel, you know, a sense of pride and ownership, and they should, you know. Yeah.